Hey everyone, this is Emmanuel, your body code practitioner out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just want to do a really quick video in regards to night terrors and uh, children. Now, obviously, obviously, adults can have them too, but I've had a lot of experience with children um, having just waking up and just um, almost semi hallucinating or having this like outburst of being scared or terror, and they uh, they keep talking to themselves and just you know these these horrible symptoms. And you know what's interesting is before I became even a practitioner, I actually started noticing that um, in my son, uh, and he was doing it all the time. And, and uh, we would we wouldn't know what to do with him. We would be like trying to comfort him. And, hey, it's okay. We're here. We're here. And he, it's almost like he didn't wake up. Like he was just kind of like stuck in in limbo. And uh, it was really just uh, very very um, scary to be honest. And um, and it just hurt our hearts that we couldn't comfort him. And so. Uh, I remember uh, just recently I worked with a, uh, there was somebody who was on Facebook and she's a friend of mine from church. And what she did is she said, you know, my, uh, I haven't been sleeping well and I've been, you know, uh, and she took a photo of herself and she says, you know, my, my daughter's been having these night terrors, you know, and uh, I think she was under the age of two. Uh, is that right? Yeah. It's like 20, 23 months, I mean, around 23 months. Anyway, so she was having all these issues in regards to sleeping and having these night terrors. And so I, I asked because you can actually work with children. If they're under 18, you can ask the permission of the mother or the father or you know, whoever's the guardian and say, can I work, you know, you give me permission to work with your daughter or your son. And I did, and I did what they call an email session, which is kind of cool because I don't even have to be present with the mother or the daughter. I could just go on my own. I already have the permission. I asked for some help in my mind for 10 seconds and then I just jumped right in there and started working with her. And what I found in this one, and like I said, it's not everyone that I find this, but I basically started asking, you know, what are the uh, underlying imbalances that are causing these symptoms? Because at the end of the day, what she's going is she's receiving symptoms of these night terrors, but there's what they call underlying imbalances. Or there's, there's the culprits, you know, energetic culprits inside the body. So I was looking for those, you know, I'm not going to be like, here, take a pill, you know, or do this. You know, I don't, don't want to do any masking. I want to actually remove the root. Like, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to re release a weed, you don't, you don't just cut it off the top. You have to kind of get it from the root. And so uh, in the body code system uh, created by Dr. Bradley Nelson, it's all about finding the, the root cause. Uh, and I've worked with a lot of also energy healers and sometimes a lot of energy healing consists of removing just the top layer, the top layer, the top layer. And sometimes because of that, there's an energy below it or even three energies below it that bring up to the surface that weed again. And so then the person or the client comes back and says, you know, I'm still receiving those symptoms. And then they're like, but didn't we take care of that like a month ago? And, and that's basically because the underlying cause times four wasn't uh, really uh, attended to. And so it's very important to use certain words, uh, certain terms that the body subconscious recognizes, and then to be able to officially release it using your intention, a magnet, and releasing the energy. And so one of the things that um, we did was I found out there was a lot of inherited emotions in this daughter. She had inherited shock, inherited terror, uh, inherited horror, and all these, you know, and I was like, wow, a lot of inherited, uh, there's inherited panic. So a lot of these from like, um, I think it's from the father's side, uh, a lot of it uh, was there. And so it just, you know, came from great, 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 great grandfather, great, great, great grandmother. And so uh, I kept releasing them, releasing them, releasing them. And then I said, okay, what else is going on here? And then there was an entity that was involved here. I don't know if it was a disembodied spirit or a demon, but that's in the body code. And uh, a lot of people, that's where some people just, just check out and say, you know what, that's, you know, especially like, you know, Dr. Bradley Nelson himself, he was like, are professionals like chiropractors and doctors going to overlook the power of the body code system, which has over 200 hyperlinks, just based on the fact that there's now demons and spirits and curses, really curses are real. So they, they might negate the whole power of the body code. But the reality is he said that he spent the whole night getting yelled at by disembodied spirits. So in his mind, he knew if they were so upset about me thinking about actually putting this in the body code, then obviously there's a reason behind it. And I think the reason is because if you do believe in spirits, or even if you don't, and I do, um, you know, just disembodied spirits and demons, there's no clock out for them. There's no, I need some sleep on the other side. They're constantly clocked in. And there's things that you don't know, you don't know, maybe um, ex an external factor that's affecting you. 
And again, it's just not fair that us as humans who can't perceive them just because they're not in the five senses that we ignore them and say, well, those can't exist. But then why do you still feel depression? If the body code addresses that there is some type of disembodied spirit or demon, then uh, they usually cause depression and suicidal tendencies. So anyway, so this disembodied spirit was attached to this, uh, this little girl. And so then in the body code, it says you need to remove the underlying imbalances that attracted this, um, uh, this, uh, this demon or this disembodied spirit. So that's what I did. I started removing some underlying imbalances. And then I, she reported back to me that she actually slept the most she's ever slept in a while uh, that exact night. And so um, so I know it works. And then it, it actually became even more real. I went to Lake Tahoe recently. And uh, my son, again, woke up. And uh, he was just having these, uh, these, these night terrors. And so like my own son, you know. And so immediately when I saw it, I started working on it. I said, I just got up. I got my phone. And I said, okay, you know, what's the underlying causes of why you're having these night terrors? And guess what it was? It was another disembodied spirit again. He didn't have as many inherited emotions. But he had other energies that were attracting this disembodied spirit. I released those, then I released the, the entity. And, um, but there was also just a lot of trapped emotions, very, very similar to shock, panic, uh, these terror kind of things in there. Sometimes it was in the womb uh, from, um, from the mother, you know, so th things like that. So anyway, it's just, I just find it very, very interesting that you, know, you can work with the child and if there's these reasons, energies that are causing these different things and so uh, you know if you're dealing with if you have a child that's having these horrible nightmares and waking up in panic and you know not you know being in limbo when they wake up I'm telling you there's there's probably just an energetic imbalance that's happening and so um, with our practice coding alternative we always offer a free session uh, for children uh, here's the, I think we're one of the only practices that if you brought 30 children to me I would actually work on all 30 of them. And if they all had night terrors, I would work specifically on that for all 30 kids just because I have a huge heart for children because, you know, I wish somebody would have worked on me when I was a kid. I got taken just because I wrote haikus near a pool doesn't mean I have depression. It just, you know, my parents were kind of concerned. Like he writes very depressed journal entries. I, I, I was just trying to escape and, you know, just kind of write something down, but I really wasn't suicidal. I wasn't, you know, but they, they took me because they were worried for me. They're like, you know, he has very melancholic thoughts. Um, all I really needed was an emotion code practitioner to release some baggage I had. And then maybe I would have been, I wouldn't have, uh, I would have write maybe nicer, brighter uh, haikus or poems, you know, but the reality is, is that um, that's why I have such a passion to be able to serve little children because they're the future. If we can heal the, the future of this world, which is children, uh, this this world will be way brighter than it is right now because it's continuing to dim right now and uh, that needs to stop. And so if you're a light worker out there, I suggest if you have some way to be like, it makes sometimes no sense to say, you know, even if a client says, I'm not interested in your work, to, to be pushy and say, can you at least let me work with your kids? I'd love to work with all seven of your kids. That makes no sense because nothing's going to come out of it technically, monetarily it won't. But that's not the purpose of why we became a healer. We became a healer because we want to heal the world. And, um, and I think the, the, the key people to heal are children because they're literally our future. And if we can just clear their heart wall or remove trapped emotions, I think it would, be, it would benefit us all uh, to know that we're leaving the world a better place. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to share an experience that you know, I helped out my son on the spot. I uh, helped out this lady who I really don't know too well, but I just saw her Facebook post, her photo of herself, and she wasn't sleeping well. And, um, you know, because of her daughter and I just said, you know what, I, I messaged her, I said, I can help you out. You don't even have to be there. Just give me permission to work with your daughter. And then that night, daughter slept amazing. And she was, she wrote this beautiful testimonial on her Facebook page. And so, um, yeah, if your child has night terrors, I'd love to help out, uh, you know, nightmares or, you know, in limbo areas and that, uh, your local emotion code practitioner can help you out or I can, I can help you out personally. And uh, I love to work with kids. And so, and if you have kids that, you know, maybe get depressed easily or get angry quickly or, you know, uh, just uh, very emotional, um, I can also help with that as well. And I would give them a free session just because, again, I just love working with kids. So, again, hopefully everyone has a, an amazing day today. And uh, I always end my uh, videos like this that the world has a false notion that if I take care of you, you take care of me. But if we take care of ourselves, 
then we can authentically take care of other people. And as we take care of ourselves, then we can change our home, we can change our city, we can change our country, we can eventually change the world. So this is Emmanuel signing off here in Las Vegas. And I hope you got something out of this, that you know anything that's going on in your life, it's probably just an energetic imbalance or an energetic misalignment that just needs to be, you know, we are emotional, energetic beings. If you miss that major component, then you're missing the big picture of why you haven't changed. And so uh, hopefully you got something out of this video and I uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.